Welcome to Chalk Talk, presented by Option Central, the premier source for all things option football. Featuring the play of the day with coach Tony DeMeo. Play of the day Chalk Talks are recorded and edited by CompuSports, publisher and distributor of football coaching software and information since 1984. Now sit back and get your pencil and paper ready as coach Tony DeMeo presents another play of the day. Hi, this is Tony DeMeo, and, and today we have a Super Bowl special. Now, normally I talk about option football and, and offense, but today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about defense. And uh, Bill Belichick is a master of stopping the other team's offense. And he makes you uh, play left-handed, whether from way back when he was a defense coordinator, of the uh, Giants when they played the Bills and they had the uh, Jim Kelly red gun offense uh, to Mike Marks's uh, greatest show on earth with the Rams. Well, now against the Eagles, they have made a, a lot of uh, yards on their RPO package. And this is how I believe that Belichick will, will stop the Eagles RPOs. And this is something that you can use if you're defending RPOs, uh, regardless of what level you're, you're playing on, pro, high school, college, whatever. But I think this will this is a good scheme and out of a 3-4 defense that uh, will cause the Eagles problems if Belichick plays this defense, which I think is in his wheelhouse. Well, first of all, the weakness of an RPO, uh, the way teams are running RPOs, is this running back right here. Because he's offset and he's actually even or even ahead of the quarterback, he's really not a, a direct threat to the bubble linebackers. So he, he's not going to be able to attack straight ahead. His path is going to be on the side. And to me, that's a weakness of the RPO scheme. I think uh, it takes away the direct hit and it makes the runner not as, as uh, effective as he would be in, an, in another situation. Because it makes him go east and west. So with that in mind, when the running back lines up in this position, then pretty much he know he's going to go in this direction to the defense's left. So what I believe is going to be the way uh, a 3-4 defense or Belichick's defense will defend it is the overhang guy here, the B. He'll be a run defender. So when the, the action comes his way, he will fill off the edge. Then you'll have this end as in as a uh, B gap player. The B is a C gap player. The nose will go away from where the the uh, setback is. Now that means the the will is basically an unblocked defender. The guard will probably have to come up on him but he will fill, so you have one, two, three, four, and only three players to block them to this side. The mic will fill, slow fill over the top for any cutback. And of course they'll try the zone uh, uh, reach scheme here on the nose. Okay, they'll probably turn out on the end and then read back here for the RPO. The backside outside linebacker, as action goes away, he'll play this defender man to man, looking for the RPO. The strong safety is free, but he'll help on that RPO, the uh, slot receiver who's really the target of the RPO as he tries to replace the linebackers scraping. 
the corners will play man up on the widest defenders. The free safety will pick up this slot defender when the B crashes. So basically you'll have six defenders, one, two, three, four, five, six run defenders against five blockers. So we feel, I feel like you'll get, give the quarterback a run read and then have six defenders to, to defend it. Now, you'll have basically man-free coverage in the secondary with, with the strong safety favoring the backside slot. And I think, so at a double slot, I think this is a very effective way to defend the RPOs from a double slot set. Now, uh, the next question is obviously, well, what happens if it's not an RPO? What, what happens if it's a straight, uh, straight drop back pass or something like that, where the quarterback's just dropping straight back and this, uh, he's going out on the on a pattern or whatever. Well, if it's not an RPO, well, then you're in great shape. You're, you're in a two deep shell. You could very easily play two deep man and have him play one hash and the free safety play the other and just play man under across the board uh, with, with the uh, outside backers on the slots and then the five man, a five man rush. If it's, uh, or you could play uh, uh, not man under, but you could play just pure two deep with the two corners rolled up as we have in the picture. And the free and the free and the strong on the hash, and the two outside backers underneath in the hook curl zone underneath and you have a uh, two deep look. So there's, you can play, or you can play quarters, you can play basically any four across defense you want in this, in a balanced set like this. So unless it's an RPO look, they'll play normal coverage. As soon as this running back starts over here, like it's an RPO, then they'll, then they'll it's an easy read for him to come, the free to pick him up, Sam to jump under the uh, backside slot, and you're set to go. So this is the way I think the Patriots will defend the Eagles' RPO uh, out of the double slot. Now, one other scenario that what if it, uh, that a question that would come up? What if it's a play action pass where you fake the RPO and the uh, quarterback drops back and throws? Well, B is still basically unblocked. The only person that is going to be able to block him is the faking running back. The free safety is now going to have the slot man. The corner is going to have the wideout man. We're basically going to get a double man to man on him. And the strong safety is free and man to man here. Plus, you have a six man rush. So now if the if if they read pass. This Mike can get into the hole and play like a rack coverage. If not, if he comes and he just comes, but we, we have at worst man to man coverage and a five or six man rush. So that's not really uh, man to man. You're still covered in a man free look with possibly uh, a rat defender or a six man rush. So I, I think this would cause the, uh, Eagle RPO offense a problem. Let's look at it from a three by one set or a trip set, whatever you want to call it, 
and how that we would uh, how I think the the Patriots will adjust to that. Okay, now this is the uh, Eagles uh, RPO from a three by one set, and now the the only difference is these inside backers will kick over because uh, there's no slot receiver here to have them bounce. It's an unbalanced set, so it'll unbalance the defense a little bit. Uh, the Sam or the Nickelback, and now there, a lot of people are playing Nickelbacks in this case, but the, the uh, Nickelback would bump out, out to play man on, on number two here. You have man up on the on the widest receivers with the corners. Okay, now the Mike, who really is the read for the RPO, he would get under that uh, tight slot or the number three uh, receiver to the trip side. And he'd have help with this strong safety. Now, if you wanted to send a Mike Blitz, you could and just play the RPO man to man with the strong safety. Will is, is uh, a run defender all the way. The nose is going to take the gap away from the running back. So he would take this uh, A gap. Uh, the end here is going to come and take B gap. And then the outside backer is going to come off the edge and be a run defender. The uh, will is going to sc scrape and fill. And then the, that leaves the free safety. Now the free safety uh, will help on the, on a, any slants in here with the corner and then be a late run defender. So you have everybody picked up. And again, you have uh, one, two, three, four, five with the free safety late defending the run. So if, if Mike drops, you pretty much know that it's gonna be a run, but the free safety will check make sure and fill late as a late defender because we don't want to give up a play action slant or uh, a one-on-one -on -one kind of route against the corner here. So uh, the corner will play man-to-man, -man, the free will help and then fill to be the sixth run defender. Okay, over here, it's the same thing. We, we have one extra defender that, on the pass, a strong safety, unless Mike is on a blitz. And if Mike is on a blitz, then you'll have a, uh, a real, uh, you'll, you'll have a six man rush, the free safety being the, the help guy. So either way, you can have either the free safety being the help guy or the Mike being a blitzer and, you, and you'll cause a problem to that RPO setup. Again, if it's a pass situation, as soon as there, there's not that action and uh, there's some kind of drop back action here, then it would be normal uh, cover two or whatever the coverage called would be. So if it's cover two, you already have these guys in position to get to the half, to the hash marks. You could play two under or uh, two under man or two under zone right here with the corners. And get in that zone look. Okay, or you could send the, send the outside backer here and make it uh, a uh, five under zone coverage. If you drop the all all the backers, it's obviously six under two deep man. So these are these are this is why I think the three four 
the Patriots 3-4 defense using extra D-backs and uh, their nickel concepts will really uh, cause the Eagles RPOs a problem and force them to do other things. Fultz has been very, very successful with the RPOs and with a limited offensive game plan. Belichick is going to make him be uncomfortable with that and force them to do something else. I think Nick Foles is a, is a good quarterback, but I don't believe he's going to be able to uh, beat the Patriots in the Super Bowl uh, against Belichick's defense. These are my thoughts. I'd be interested in hearing your thoughts and uh, enjoy the Super Bowl. And we can talk about it after the Super Bowl and see uh, if uh, Bill Belichick did this defense to stop the Eagles RPOs. Take care. Have a great day. You've been watching Chalk Talk, featuring the play of the day with Coach Tony DeMeo. Recording and editing by CompuSports, publisher and distributor of football coaching software and information since 1984. Play of the Day Chalk Talks are a production of Option Central, the premier site for all things option football. Ready to improve your option football coaching skills? It's time to join OptionCentral.net right now.